Welcome back to Grown Kids TV. Today is all customs. We have a custom surprise here. We have a mystery box from Smyrold, a kitchen sink mystery box. Anything goes, but there is definitely a custom Smyrold Funko Pop in here. And we got a whole bunch of customs down here that we're going to talk about. Stay tuned. Before we begin, let's talk about custom Funko Pops. There are two types of labeled custom Funko Pops. Number one is the really dumb version. It's just a fake Funko Pop. It's usually from China. Somebody remade it. It's not real. It's a complete fabrication. It's meant to look like another Funko Pop that's real. For example, I don't know where he is up here, but we have Lotso up there with the little sign that says I'm fake. We got it a long time ago to show off differences between fake and real Funko Pops. Not our type of thing. However, the second version of custom is somebody who took an existing Funko Pop and made it their own or any type of collectible or any type of thing. I love it. I love custom clothes. I love custom Funko Pops. I love custom chomps. As you can tell, because I even have my own custom chomp that I made, Raphael, my favorite Ninja Turtle. But just off camera, we have a Grow Love and Lindsay has a bunch of the RJ chomps. I think I have a couple here, for example. The Statue of Liberty S'mores Chomp, which is amazing. But I'll give you a hint, that's an RJ Chomp in there. We'll take a look at it in a minute. Let's take a look at all of our Smy Original custom Funko Pops. First one's first, Pokemon character. I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name, but Lucario, Lucario, I'm not sure which one, but this one is gorgeous. It is a six piece by Rombits. We actually at one point had two of the six in our house because like I said, I have a search saved on Smy World for Makari and eBay. And the second one that we bought, we actually bought off CGA Guys Collectibles, is the Mini Puffed, another six piece by Rombits. I love this. I've wanted to get a Mini Puffed for a long time. And I got the little pink one, which actually goes well because we got the pink Stay Puffed glow in the dark. So this actually works out pretty well. Next up from our mystery box, Snake Eyes. And these are all Previously either bought off eBay or out of mystery boxes that we got before. That one's a six piece as well. And now we're gonna go to the one that Smy sent us. Now, Smy sent two. One was the Fry Kids, which is perfect for us grown kids. That one's at Lindsay's house because she loves it so much. And we actually bought a Jim Halpert that's at her house as well. However, this one was the other one that Smy sent to us in that one with the Fry Kids. This is the Rombit Spooky Space Cook 24 piece. Absolutely love the look of this. I don't know why, but I love Funko Pops that have like a helmet on that you can see through, or just anything like the Spider Man that you can see through the side, or the Juggernaut Chase uh, Funko Soda, that the three liter that has a cracked open. I love the look of like the three dimensional, and this does it too. Yes, the Martian from Mars Attacks. I love those ones as well. My last two Smy Originals. That I absolutely love. They're tied. I don't know which one I love more, but the first one I knew I couldn't buy every single one, so I aimed for the one I wanted the most. Like I said, Raphael's my favorite Ninja Turtle. So here we go. The Raphael Red Metallic 24 piece. Absolutely gorgeous. And recently somebody recreated one of these. They didn't try to fake it or anything, they didn't say it was a smile, they said it was their personal custom they made and it really showed the difference and the person did a pretty good job, far better than I could, but it really shows how much different a professional artist can do one of these than a regular person. And I know, because I tried to do that chomp up there. And either second or first place, and this is the only one I currently have that has the old Smyrold sticker, this is the super sought after white suit joker. Absolutely love this. Purpleized, white suit joker, the old Smy original stickers. You'll see usually this sticker on their gold ones. They did a Dragon Ball character. I don't know which one, I'm sorry. They did the Jim Halpert in full gold. I think there's a couple others. And if we could, oh man, there's some really cool old school Freddies as like the monsters characters. I think there's a glow, maybe Booberry, maybe Count Chocula, I can't remember exactly, but Smy did a run of that, and if I can find those for a good price, I'll definitely pick them up. I showed you those as a teaser to get into this kitchen sink mystery box, but before we get into that, we gotta open up this RJ original. 
recently, and I'll put a picture up here, in the past month or so, RJ has been doing some awesome, amazing, crazy cool chomps. And from what I've seen, they've been pretty good prices. This was a great price. I'll put a picture up here of the two Jokers he did recently. It was so hard for me to not buy them, but I did just pick this one up and it does cost a little bit of money because he is an amazing artist. Oh, there's even a card in here. Hey there, Michael. Thank you again for the purchase and support. I hope you enjoy the custom chomp. Farewell, my friend, with the little rocket ship taking off, RJ. And he's got RJ Designs stickers here. I'm gonna have links to RJ Designs, Instagram and website down in the description below. I cannot promote him enough. Amazing artist. We got the Galaxy Chomp off him. We've got the one I showed you at the beginning of the video. In the last guest appearance of Lindsay, I gave her that Buzz Lightyear Chomp, probably the best chomp of all time. And this one goes along with that. And one of our friends reached out on Instagram and said, hey, did you see that RJ is dropping this? And I said, actually, already bought it because the price was too good to pass up. This is the Chomp Claw Machine with Alien in it. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. As soon as I saw this, I said I knew I had to get this to go with the Buzz Lightyear Chomp. This 100% is getting sent over to Lindsay and she's gonna freak. She obviously loves Chomp and loves Toy Story. So this is great. A little three-dimensional. And then the RJ signature on the bottom. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, the skill here is so much better than I could ever imagine to do. And I have no idea how he does it. Even the effect of, like, the gloss on it, like the, the reflection style, uh, that can that makes it look like he's inside a claw machine. It's so perfect. And just to let you know, if you guys are painters or artists or whatever, this is a very uneven surface, right? Chomp has lots of little fur tufts on him. It makes it very, very hard to paint, like I found out. I'm not that great. I think I did good for my first try. But this is incredible. I very, very, very highly recommend RJ Designs. Now I just gotta get this to Lindsay before the video comes out so she doesn't see it. And a very nice thank you card, I really appreciate that. But most of it right here comes for the mystery boxes and we are gonna have some very random content coming up. I do actually wanna put together like a video of a bunch of different things I saw on aircraft care because I saw a picture recently that was very funny and I was like I should just do a video it's not gonna be for everybody but just different views uh, from my time in the Navy people also suggested that I do some of my garbage pail kids cards I'm just so scared I'm not gonna pull anything good and every time I don't film I get a limited number card maybe I'll do that I just opened some right now I got a 299 or 275 piece I forget what it was but very fun cards, the Garbage Pail Kids. A little gross, but they're pretty fun. So I'm not sure I might be doing some random content because like you see, I don't do too many mystery boxes. And that's because it's hard to find something that lines up with what I need. I'm, I'm trying to cut down on my collection. If you see, there's a couple in the background that are missing. Some of the missing spots are actually just these guys that I took down. But there are boxes I cannot pass up. And a Smyroll Kitchen Sink Mystery Box with a Smy Original in it, definitely can't pass it up. All right, some details on this box. $250 a box. All boxes guaranteed to be over value. Top box worth $350 in value. It says, welcome to my kitchen sink. It means everything goes. Oversized, mint, damaged, designer toys, and more. I love when there's other designer toys. That's what I really love these for. It's opened my eyes to what else is out in the community. It's how I got into Sanks. It's how I got into CanBots. It's how I got into so many different cool things. And I love little mystery minis like CanBots and stuff like that. And some left field surprises. By the way, one of the coolest things I ever got out of a Smy World Kitchen Sink Mystery Box was the Funko Vision TV set that had Gossamer in it. Absolutely amazing. Just blew my mind how cool of a product that I never heard of was in there. Some higher value pops and all around fun boxes. Boxes will be generally a mixture of different items. That's what I like. All designer toys will be set at retail value, so they do that. And then for pops, they do PPG value. And they said, Smy Customs and Custom Toys will be initial retail value of $135. So we're looking at $135, so another at least $125 in value, maybe even $200 out of this. And I promise you that those Smy World Originals, those six, there's six of these boxes, by the way, are each worth $250 minimum. These things sell between $200 and $300, $500, $600. And there is a chance to get a double. I have... Two in here that are possible doubles. We have Spooky Space Kook. We have Snake Eyes. 
Everything else is a one out of three chance that's a double, which is okay. It's still worth the money. I can pass it on to somebody else. But there's Casey Jones, there's Shredder, Dwight Shrew, and Cubone, the Pokemon. I think that's his name, but the one with a really horrible backstory. Uh, but he's in there. Dwight Shrew would be epic to get. I would absolutely love that. Obviously, Shredder and Casey Jones. Like I said, I keep a search going on for Smy on eBay and Macari, and somebody just listed a Shredder. So I think they might have got it from the mystery box, didn't want it, and put it up on eBay. Uh, that's actually number one I wanted. And I would believe number two would either be Dwight or Casey Jones, and then moving down through there. But the great thing is that's only $135 of this $250 value. And I've pulled some of the coolest things out of these. First up, there's just a little loose guy sitting out here, so I'll see what that is. Oh, it's a little Rocky Raccoon, like uh, maybe a Dwarf's character or something. So that's pretty adorable. It's going to be low value, so that's kind of cool to have a little, almost like a free thing thrown in there. Oh, there's more. There's Star-Lord. This feels like a baseball. Oh, a Series 2 Boo Hollow. Let's open it right now. By the way, if you guys like this content, I'll actually remember while we're doing the mystery box to say make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you can. And let me know what you guys love out of this box, or out of these guys, or the chomp. We opened one of these one time, and the Super Chase, the best you get, was this little glow and dark guy. And we got him, and we went out and tested him glow and dark, and he was, and it was such a great hit. I do not know what is good or not good out of the series two though. And we got a little, almost like Sam character. This is objectively super adorable. Especially for like a Halloween style scary guy. He's got his little heart, but he does have like a skeleton skull outfit. Uh, looks like a Luchador wrestler. Let's see what the rarity for this guy is because they come with a little booklet as well. His legs actually move to make it easier for him to stand up. His name is Cavalero. The stuntman and self-appointed superhero dreams of pro wrestling and always keeps an eye on Scratch. He is known as a super common. So he's a, a one in nine super common. Whatever, I like him. He's just gonna lay down. Next up is a sealed Funko Soda and it is Vision. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now the can is dented, however, I care nothing about can quality on sodas. I know that'll probably be a thing in the future, but I don't care personally. And I actually don't know how much of it will matter in the future because you can always just buy any can from a common if you do get the chase. It's the most vinyly smelling soda I've smelled in a long time. One Funko soda that I'm missing out on is Scarlet Witch. Uh, her price went up even though it's a it's a high like a high piece number, but it's still amazing soda. I believe the vision is metallic. I'm not sure. Oh nope, he's not. But that's the chase. That's even better than metallic. This is like the white vision that showed up at the end of the series and then disappeared from the MCU and no one knows where he was because he wasn't in Multiverse of Madness, but that is the White Vision Blue Eyes. You found the chase, the Vision, one out of 2,900 piece. So 17,500 piece. At this point, it's kind of a decent number for a soda because they are going to the unnumbered sodas. But that just brought the price of this box up. That's a great hit. So we got the super common of the Boo Hollow. However, we got the chase of Vision. Next up, is another soda. This one is actually wrapped up, but it's still sealed. And this is Silent Bob. I do know his chase is the gas mask one. They are coming out with those NFTs shortly. Redeemed that a while ago. This is a horrible plastic job. The top doesn't have the little circle and the bottom is all the way around the edge. Now, can we go two for two with chases? And we're not even at the Smy World Custom yet. The bad news is I'll probably be able to tell if this is the chase by taking them out of this bag, which I'm having a tough time with. I don't think it is. I don't feel a gas mask on his face, but it is Silent Bob. One out of 6,700. And one thing that you never get to see from all the pictures and everything is on the back of his hat. I might have to take a picture of this, but he has a little smiley face and that's adorable. A little like neutral expression face, I should say. One out of two chase though, not too bad. Okay, a couple of random smaller things. Let's see, we got, oh, Tokidoki. I really want the little skull guy. I hope that's what we get in here, the skull guy. Adios. And let's see what the other little thing there is. Same thing? Okay, nice. Then it feels like we have three pops left. Let's go ahead and see what these are. I don't see any odds or anything. 
So we get what we get. Don't know if there's any limited pieces, but I'm hoping for a little skull guy. Okay, that's that's incredibly adorable. The quality is really great as well. You can't tell it's very glossy. Uh, little donut ears are adorable. They got the little water polo uh, ball, possibly. I don't know water polo. But there's a fish inside the water and the little bear is floating in it. So that is biscotti. Okay, there are two chasers. There's Salary Man and Sandy, but that is super adorable. Maybe we'll get the skull one in here. I was gonna make a joke, I can kind of feel through the package, that what are the odds that we get the same thing twice in a row? Those are grown kids odds, and check it out. Been lucky lately, so I can't say too much about that. But very adorable little guys. Now we have three Funko Pops in here, and I'm gonna try to find out how to get the custom out last without seeing what it is. First one up is, nice, serves up Joker. You guys know I love Joker. I have Freddy Funko as serves up Joker right here. And I don't think I ever got the serves up Joker. Or maybe I did, but it was a long time ago. I kind of wish I had changed out the face on the Freddy Funko's surfboard to be a little Freddy Funko face. But now I got the set. You keep him up there, two more Funko Pops. And they're in protectors, so I can't try to feel for the sticker to see what it is. Okay, I randomly looked and it's not the custom, so the last one will be the custom, but here is the Angus Young FYE, and this is the red outfit ACDC pop. We recently got him, I'm pretty sure, and a couple people in the comments were like, that's an amazing pop. So I know that people love that one. But that leaves the best for last, the way I want it. Plus we got that Chase, last one. Let's hope for the best. It is. Oh, it's Spooky Space Kook. It was a one in three chance of a double. However, the other Spooky Space Kook was a direct gift to us, so we could never get rid of it. But this one, I can feel guilt-free putting this up on eBay because I already have the one in my collection. What's crazy right now is right here in the same video, there are two out of 24 of these that are in the world right here on this table. Now let's go ahead and price out this box. All right, I went through Pop Price Guide, eBay, a bunch of things, try to find out the best prices for this. Hobby DB, Funko App, all this stuff, trying to find the best prices. So first, let's start with these Dorbs guys. Rocky Raccoon, Star-Lord. This guy is either worth $4 or $10. We'll go with four. Star-Lord, five. So $9, Dorbs don't really do that much, which is great if you want some limited Freddy Funko Dorbs. They're pretty easy to come by, good value. I love them. I got some in the back. Uh, and then we got these like super Dorbs guys that are behind me over my shoulder. The Dorbs XLs, I love those two. Next up we got Boo Hollow. It looks like his little guy on Smyro, the little mystery ball was six or seven dollars. Six dollars for the capsule. Silent Bob's coming in at fifteen dollars, open or sealed. The Chase Vision, the white vision, fifty dollars. Each of these guys, I can't find them anywhere except for eBay, but they are $8.95 on eBay, so we'll go ahead and put that in for $16. Surf's Up Joker, $37. Angus Young, $41. And I think that's everything besides the custom, and all that together is $174. This custom, realistically, is the price of the box. That's why these sold out instantaneously. But they were valuing the customs at $135, so putting that in, the box is over $300 with the low value, the low value of $135, $309 for this box. That's amazing. Now, I did get some extra value out of this guy. However, that 100% is undervalued. Love, love Smy World, especially the kitchen sink mystery boxes. We got a cool Boo Hollow, which I've already been looking at other ones and been like, man, I kind of do want one of those. And this guy, I still want the skull version. He's got a little hoodie that says adios on it. He's got a skull, it's pretty cool looking. And I can get it shipped here for like nine bucks, not too bad. We pulled a Joker, ACDC, and it was a double, but it's still definitely worth the value. Custom Rombits Funko Pop. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like customs? Are you like me, where as long as it's obvious it's a custom and not trying to be passed off, sort of like fake money, right? No one wants to be given fake money in the attempt to fool you into its real money. However, if you find one of those people that like, that spice up like a dollar bill, five dollar bill, ten dollar bill, and they paint it and make it look really cool, I like that stuff. I love custom work on everyday objects. And this is like the same idea. 
a custom paint job, custom art on an everyday Funko Pop, and I love it. And this Funko Pop by itself is still $25, even without the custom work done to it. And the Scooby-Doo Pops are only getting better and better and better as time goes on. So I'm very glad to pick up another one of these. Thank you so much, RJ. What an amazing chomp. Just goes along with all the other amazing chomps that you've made. And Smile World for all these buggers, but also this Kitchen Sink Mystery Box, my favorite style mystery box, and it always pays off every single time I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is Growing Kids TV, and I'll see you later.